my specialty is, is looking at the fundamentals and, and, you know, most of the time that works out. Right. Uh, and, and sometimes, uh, you know, it doesn't, um, but you know, the key is to, uh, to keep plugging away and, and look at everything in, in the aggregate and, uh, continue to do your work. But, you know, I mean, look, I mean, you know, we, we know macro and stylistic factors, uh, factors dominate, uh, that's, you know, a key, component of the research uh, we're doing at, at Hedgeye, you know, overall the, 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 you know, aggregate product that we're, we're offering. But I think, you know, over, over time, uh, you know, if you get the fundamentals right, you get the stock right, just not necessarily over the near term. There's only one quad where growth doesn't work. Just one, one quad out of four quads, and that's quad four. That's the only quad that you need to be careful of your growth stock picks. So again, Expedia, it's every single growth stock that McGough likes. It's every it's nothing against you, you guys. I mean, it's just what it is. We all have to, you know, always respect that. There's a lot more to come on the downside on this one. Um, I'd, I'd be curious, Keith, as to what your signals are on this. I would suspect it would be that this thing is just flat out broken, particularly given the aftermarket trading. The signal says short it with impunity on bounces. The difference between this and Expedia, one, there's no difference between you know the the most basic reason why they're down double digits is is that everyone owned it right um but in this case everyone owned it for the wrong reason inside information they thought they had and no they didn't and this is a real big one for hedge nation because for a while we've been talking about the last of the talk about the last of the captain hedge fund stock picking tactics where you push your book and push the market around but but also trading on inside info it, the game is changing so obviously right now. I love it. Sequential deceleration throughout this year into into quad four and maybe like a lengthening quad four environment. And we all know what that means. So, uh, you know, nothing structurally wrong with the companies. It's just, the, you know, time to start thinking about them on the short side. And in the tight labor environment, it's an, it's an interesting strategy to assume that the economy will continue to provide cheap labor in the second, third and fourth quarter. Now, we get quad four and we get lots of unemployment. Uh, we'll see, you know, uh, the quad four obviously doesn't mean unemployment, it just means de decelerating growth. But if we get something deeper, uh, you could have more uh, driver availability. When you talk about quad four, people sort of understand, okay, quad four is when bad things happen. But I don't get the impression just based on these calls that we've had, not just yesterday, but really for, for weeks, that clients expected it to be this bad. I think people thought it would be, you know, volatility and, and you know, some degree of sell-off, but not the sort of carnage that we've seen. Hey there, Hedge Eye Nation. Or if you're not part of Hedge Eye Nation, thanks for watching Hedge Eye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.